Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 3.4 from Sadiku book given the circuit in the figure calculate the currents I1 through I4 okay so we are given this circuit here and the first thing that I notice is we have two essential nodes right this node here one and this node here let's name this node maybe node A and this node is not B. Actually there is three there are three essential nodes but I want to use this bottom node here as our ground. So we have our ground here which is the voltage here will equal to zero. Okay so now we have two essential nodes so basically what we do is we do KCL in both of them. Okay now let's do KCL at node A. KCL at node A. What does KCL say? KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Right? Okay, let's see at node A. As you see here, I see this 3 ampere current going there which is going in to the node A and the 6 ampere also going in to the node A right so I have this current and this current that going in and that current is 3 ampere and then plus 6 ampere and the current that goes out what is the current that goes out which is I1 and I2 ok let's work out that I1 and I2 Okay, 3 plus 6 is 9, but I1, what can we do with I1? I1 is here, right? If we do Ohm's law here, that will be Va, I1 will equal to Va minus the voltage in the ground divided by the resistance, which is nice because we have Va minus 0 because it is the ground divided by 20 and that is for I1 and for I2 what can we do uh, I2 is here and we can do the same right so it is between VA and ground so we have VA minus 0 because of the ground and the current I mean the resistance between them will be 10 ohm then so now what can we do? 9 is equal to VA divided by 20 plus VA divided by 10. Okay, now what can we do from here? Maybe we multiply both sides by 20. Right? If we multiply both sides by 20, we got 180 on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side, we have VA. And then this will cancel into 2, so I will have 2 VA. So I will have 180 is equal to 3 VA. And that means that VA is equal to 64. Okay, now let's save this VA is equal to 64 because this is an important value for calculating I1 and I2, right? Okay, now we have KCL at node B. We need to do KCL at node B. Okay, now maybe I will do it here. Let's draw some lines so we don't get it mixed up. And maybe different color. Let's do KCL at node B. Remember that KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. Okay, let's see in the node P, the only current that goes in is from this current source which is 2 ampere. So I just put 2 on the left hand side, right? And all other 3 currents is going out and I will start from this current source and that is 3 then plus this current which is I3 
and then this current which is I4 okay now I can move this 3 to the left hand side and I will get minus 1 is equal to I3 plus I4 right but I3 is VB minus 0 divided by 50 so I'll have VB minus 0 divided by 40 okay and then I will have this current here which is the same as here because it is exact same nodes and exact same resistance so I'll have VB minus 0 divided by 40 okay so now what can we do from here that will be minus 1 and if we add this up we will have 2 VB divided by 40 or minus 40 will be 2 VB and I will have VB is equal to minus 20 okay let's highlight this okay we now have VA and VB what can we do we are asked to find out I1 I2 I3 and I4 and that can be easily calculated using Ohm's law okay maybe use I will use view here so what is I1 I1 is VA minus 0 divided by 20 but remember that VA is 60 so I'll have 60 minus 0 divided by 20 or we can have that 60 divided by 20 we have 3 ampere here okay so we just play the same game for I2 we will have VA minus 0 divided by 10 right and that will be 60 minus 0 divided by 10 and that will be 6 ampere okay and then for I3 I3 is VB minus 0 divided by 40 and VB is minus 20 so we'll have minus 20 here divided by 40 and that will be minus 0 0.5 but I4 is the same as I3 right so I4 it's the exact same resistance exact same voltage so I will just make it the same as I3 and that will be minus 0 0.5 and this is all the values that us in the equation so 3 ampere 6 ampere minus 0 0.5 ampere and minus 0 0.5 ampere. hopefully i did not make any mistakes in the calculation and thank you for watching don't do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel bye bye